Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an Alexa flash briefing skill. So a flash briefing skill, if you're not familiar with them, they add content to the um, built-in Alexa flash briefing functionality. And a flash briefing is basically a skill that provides either text or audio clips from a feed that gets uh, merged into the user's daily flash briefing. So if you go and search through um, the Alexa skills, you'll see there's lots of flash briefing skills and they're pretty easy to create. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So there are really two things that you need to do and we'll, we'll start from scratch. So uh, assuming that um, you're just coming at developing skills, you will need to have uh, for this an AWS account and also an Amazon developer account. So if you go to aws.amazon.com, you can sign up. And when you sign up here, it actually will prompt you for a credit card, but nothing that we're doing will incur any costs. There's a free tier that this will uh, cover for sure, unless you're flash briefing. It's really, really, really popular, which I guess wouldn't be a bad thing. And the other thing that you're gonna need is an Amazon uh, developer account, which you can get at developer.amazon. Com. So we're going to use the AWS account to host our feed, and there's um, this is this is the content feed. What's going to actually be uh, be used in the flash briefing, and so there's there's two different feed types that you can use. You can use either an RSS feed or a JSON feed, and we're going to use a JSON feed for this. Um, this is probably the the simplest way I think to uh, to get it going. So you're gonna wanna sign in after you've created an account uh, and then go to uh, services and then go to S3. And you'll create a bucket here. And this is where we're gonna store our feed. So I'm gonna just call this um, uh, flash briefing example. And then next, and the um, the you can skip by this. The you want the bucket to be public, so you want to change this to grant public read access to this bucket. I'll give you a warning, but that's okay for what we're doing. And the rest of it is fine. So just keep the uh, the defaults, and it'll create the uh, the bucket for you. So let's go find. A, our flash briefing example right here. Then we want to open that bucket up and we're going to upload the content to our feed in here. But let me show you how that content is formatted. So there is gonna be a few things that we're gonna upload. We're gonna upload a, uh, a JSON file and I'll provide a link to all of this code uh, that is formatted for the flash briefing skill. So. In this case, we're just gonna have one uh, item. And you wanna make sure that with this, the flash briefing is, um, is current. And I think you can have, I wanna say, and I'll provide the link to these references too, I, I wanna say that you can have like, um, yeah, one in five, uh, one to five unique feed items. So in, um, in the JSON here, we could have multiple records like this go um, up to up to five and then you would change out the ID of course and the content but we're just going to start with one for our example um, the other thing is uh, for this example we're going to use an audio file uh, and you can also you can do either audio or text for your feed but you can have multiple feeds for each um, flash briefing so you could have one for text and one for audio and the audio you can have up to 10 minutes and there's some requirements around uh, the the format of the audio and uh, for the details on those uh, like on the the loudness of it and the the type you can find those all uh, in the documentation that i'll provide links to also but i've got my uh, my flash briefing JSON here and uh, my uh, MP3 file that I created with Audacity, which um, is this 
free audio uh, recorder and audio editing tool that uh, I'll also provide a link to. And with this, I can just upload this stuff into my S3 bucket that I created. So I'll go over here to my bucket and I will um, upload my flash briefing JSON in my MP3 file like this. And I want all of these to be public read only as well. And the rest of this can just stay the way that it is. Okay, got my MP3. But my JSON file didn't go up. And there we go. So now I've got them both up here. Um, to make sure that I can view them, I can click on it here and just go like this, to make sure I can see the feed. There it is. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my, um, my MP3 file. So. Hello world, welcome to the dabble. Okay, so those are um, both up and working. Now what I wanna do is I just wanna copy this URL. I'm gonna need this. And then you go over to developer.amazon.com. And if you don't have an account, you need to create one. I do have one, so I'm gonna go ahead and sign in. And once you're signed in, you go to the Alexa um, section and under the Alexa skills kit choose get started and then add a new skill and then here we're going to change the skill type to flash briefing and give it a name <clears throat> I'm going to just call this hello world and save that like that and go next and um, next again the Custom error message here, this is what's gonna play if the uh, feed is not available. So we'll say, sorry, the hello world um, flash is not available. And we can listen to that. Sorry, the Hello World flash briefing is not available right now. And then we want to add the feed. So the first thing that we need to add here is the preamble, and this is going to introduce the content. So you're going to say that if you read closely here, you'll say um, something like in or from, uh, from the Hello World, we'll say blog it's coming from the blog from the hello world blog and then we'll give this feed a name and set how often this feed is updated so the the content in the feed is it's going to pull from the most current content and go backwards up to five but it needs to be recent also i think uh within a couple of days if i'm not mistaken so the date stamp on the content is important, but, but we'll change, I'm gonna change this to daily, and then specify the type of content, and we're using audio in this case, and uh, the genre, let's see, we'll say technology for ours, and then the URL here, so this is gonna be this URL, okay, so we'll copy that, bring it over, and paste it in. And then you need a feed icon also. And this is just a 512 by 512 pixel PNG. And I've got one here that I created. There we go. And then you save that. And let's see. 
Okay, I see what's going on. Um, I have an error in my feed. So you need, so I'm referencing the MP3 file using a, a relative path, but you need to use an absolute path. So let me change that. Okay, and to do that, I'm gonna go find my URL here and then go into my feed file here and change that like that and then go back over here and um, I'm going to upload this again so Okay, that should have fixed it. Let's try it again. Okay, so there we go. So now we have our feed in there and we are just about done here. So we go next, we can set it up now so that we can test it. And to test it, you wanna to go to your Alexa companion app and enable it first. So it won't, unlike doing a custom skill where it's uh, set up by default, um, that's not the case here. So you want to go to your skills and then um, your skills and then find the hello world skill that we created, which is where? Okay, here it is. And then you want to enable it. And once it's enabled, then you can try it out with your Echo. It takes a minute to enable. Okay, now it's enabled. Alexa, what's my flash briefing? Here's your flash briefing. From the Hello World blog. Hello world, welcome to the Dabble Lab example flash briefing skill. That's all from your flash briefing. Okay, so that's it. It's all working. So pretty straightforward. Just to recap, you want to get your content feed someplace uh, that you can pull it in with your flash briefing skill. And we used um, AWS and S3 to do that. And we just have a, a static um, JSON file with our content in it. Of course, if you wanted to get fancy, you could um, create maybe like a DynamoDB database and use a Lambda function with API gateway to you know dynamically pull content. Uh, you can also just connect to like an RSS feed. Um, I had some issues with that. There's a couple of, uh, and I'll add some links, there's a couple of like wrappers that I've found to help format uh, RSS feeds that aren't working to the, uh, the, the JSON format, but um, uh, this is just a, a real simple example. So uh, yeah, if at this point you wanna continue and actually submit the skill so that it's available to the public, you would um, just go here and fill out the publishing information, the privacy, so the category, uh, we'll just say, let's just say it's business and finance and then you have to have something here, but I'll say no special. That and then um, we'll make it available anywhere. And we'll just use that for the description. And then the keywords business, and then the icons you need a small icon, which is. 108 by 108 pixels, and you need a large icon that's 512 by 512. And then you go next, and then you've got to just answer some privacy uh, questions. Um, does the skill let users spend real money? No. Um, does it collect personal information? No. Is it directed or targeted at kids? No. 
uh, export compliance, I agree. And does the skill contain advertising? No. And then you need um, a privacy URL. So and you need a terms of use URL. And then once you save that, the only thing left to do now is just submit for certification. And once it's certified, it will be available in the skill store so that anybody can enable it and make it part of their flash briefing. So that's it, creating a flash briefing Alexa skill. Hopefully um, this was useful. If you have any questions, you can leave those in the comments and I'll reply just as soon as I can. If you did find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. Uh, thank you so much.